bit like you, Wally. But I always knew I was stronger than them. I would look them in the eye and say, you can't hurt me. You can't hurt me because I don't exist in your world. Your world of thieving and brutality and misery. I live in a different world. So whatever they tried on me, they never hurt me. <laughs> they couldn't. They just couldn't quite get through to me. I know the feeling. Well, I don't think that we don't care. And sure, all this is very interesting. But how about I phone the police as you've entered this property without permission? Emergency. Which service do you require? Fire brigade, please! That's the ultimate in green politics, is it burn people's mobile phones? And don't you think you're being a bit too liberal with the logs? Aren't you feeling a bit guilty about raping the earth of its natural resources and pumping out poison into the atmosphere? Dad, don't. The thing about wood is that it comes from trees. I'll stand by to be patronised. And trees are pretty green when it comes down to it. Something different for a change. Pathetic politics and pathetic humour. And trees, when you think about them, are among the most efficient collectors of solar energy that exist on the face of this planet. We'll be billing you for the mobile phone, OK? Right, come on. I think we'd better drive to the nearest police station. Ah! Walk on that ah! book, man! Ah! Ah! Dan, leave it! No one is going anywhere tonight! What are you doing? I went nowhere for 18 years. Now, it's your turn to find out what it feels like to be trapped and locked in with someone you're scared of. Okay, now look. This nonsense has gone on for long enough. This is men in white coats time. So we'll go and get them, okay? And they can come here and take you away and do what they should have done 18 years ago. Lock you up and throw away the key. Marcus, what are you trying to do to us? You're really scaring us now. Stay out of it. This has got nothing to do with you. Yes, it has. I'm your daughter. What does that mean? Daughter? A daughter is someone you grow up with. Someone you're with when they take their first steps. Someone you hold when they wake from a bad dream. Not just the accidental product of some drugged up screw at an all night party. Yeah, never mind whatever else she's told you. The only reason you're standing there is because Kitson, the ice queen, back then, was. is passionate, an acceptable word. The same way she was in her office a couple of weeks ago. The same way she was on your living room carpet a couple of weeks ago. Exactly the same as 18 years ago. Fast and passionate. How speaks the defence, Miss Kitson? Your defence rests, Your Honour, for there is no defence. Guilty or not guilty? You're going to love this, Ollie, but not a lot. You'll be meet contempt. And so are you. The Ice Queen was so passionate, she never bothered her cool solicitor's brain about protection. Did she? She never stopped to think about Marcus and his 18 years in prison, or about who I might have been with, inside or out. That's the thing about going unprotected, isn't it? You don't know what's inside you, growing, unexpected, unwanted. I said you were going to love this, Ollie. Ollie Simpson. Hmm, a stupid name. It sounds like some prize Wally of a vicar in a Just William book. Are you saying you're HIV positive? Or even worse, you mean? Full-blown AIDS? You really are a piece of perverted, twisted filth. Quiet, please. 
The Reverend Prize Wally, Ollie Simpson, wishes to sermonize. What have you infected me with? That's for me to know, and you to have nightmares about. No, she wouldn't have, would she? She wouldn't have torn the flesh out of my back one minute, then crept into bed with the Reverend Simpson, would she? She wouldn't be feeling guilty and wanting to pretend nothing happened over her desk in the office. She wouldn't do that, would she? Not after going unprotected with an ex-prisoner, because she knows what that might mean. She wouldn't, though. Surely not. She's a responsible professional woman who'd never do anything that stupid. Or maybe she goes protected with you, Vicar, because things aren't quite as passionate as they are between me and the Ice Queen. <laughs> Remember, the nearest fire station's a long, long way away. You really HIV positive? Hmm. Good question. Have you really got AIDS? Even better question. I don't believe you. What about sharing a needle, though? Would you believe that? Oh, Christ. <laughs>